everybody, I want to wheeze them here. We've got a legendary Astro Blast. We just checked out the Cosmic Technology Path. Nothing super overwhelming in it yet. It seemed to combine to make a pretty decent upgrade path, in my opinion. So, uh, what we're going to do now is use the powers of Skylander Tutor, which is again unlocked at Portal Master Rank 74. We're going to switch over to the Nova Hopper Path. And then once we've bought these three upgrades, we can use Skylander Tutor to switch back freely. Uh, case in point, we will not have to purchase the upgrades each and every time. So a very cool feature they built in, much appreciated. Are you ready for and right here we're Magical fully upgraded upgrade? and you wonder, how does this work? Well, you press the Y button on Xbox One anyway. And we can now switch paths. Nova Hopper it is. If you're like, whoa, 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 wait, you just totally lost all that. See, it's locked down, you loser. Check it out we can switch back and it's all there we don't have to pay for it so uh, we're gonna switch back now to Nova Hopper so we're going to bring down huge rocks from space onto your enemies that's the uh, description here all right so keep in mind 10 wing sapphires 20% max discount 1360 thus becomes the price for the first upgrade on the path meteor shower hold B and release to lob multiple space rocks. Okay, we'll go ahead and pick that up. Let me get back to the spreadsheet. Now, Astro Asteroid Belt, which was our uh, box stock attack, our secondary attack. The space rocks do 3553 on impact. You have three seconds of lasers, uh, which what did they do? 30 to 45, I think. And then I believe it slowed enemies down too. Uh, so we're going to come in here and we're just going to tap B. There's our 35 if we shoot it. Yeah, so let's try it again. 35, we shoot that. Yeah, so you get the feel for it right there. Uh, so what we want to do now, that's singular, what we have box stock again. And now with Nova Hopper's full spectrum, or I'm sorry, Meteor Shower, we're actually going to hold attack 2, and there will be multiple. What do they mean by multiple? 2, 3, 17? And we're about to find out. <laughs> Can't really tell. <laughs> actually. Okay, so I'm holding it down. Was it three? <laughs> this is so hard. Let's try to stand right here and see if we can get a game <laughs> on. So we're gonna let that one do its thing. We're charged up. What's the deal? <laughs> I think three, yeah. Uh, the problem is, we don't really have a way to showcase this, do we? Okay, so we got two of them hit that time. <laughs> I think it might be this area, but it's gonna be something you'll wanna take into consideration. Like, when I'm shucking them this way, we're not getting three singular, you know, orbs that I can go in and shoot into the sky. So, if I toss them over here, you can see them go. There's two. Not sure where the third one went. Let's, uh, let's try to get a count on them. Right? <laughs> so I've charged these bad boys up. I'm going to chuck them over here. 35 for them. Still three seconds. So nothing has really changed aside from you can throw three at once. So uh, throw. Three at once. Still 3553 slash 30 to 45 with the lasers. So, not 30 asterisks, <laughs> 3245. Okay. Uh, full spectrum is up next. Again, I don't quite understand why we can't. Let's come up here. I want to try and give you a good angle at these three. Uh, 
There's one. I'm cool with that. We charge it up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure somewhere it would be useful and easier to showcase, but this apparently is not the place for that. So. Next upgrade down the path is going to be full spectrum. When you shoot a space rock, the dust will last longer. The dust, I assume, is just kind of that aura. Basically the three seconds, right? Uh, so let's go ahead and grab that and see if we can register a difference. I'm in the ozone. This should apply to the singular and the triple toss. So we'll check that out. Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to do one. Wait, was that 53? Yeah, 35, 53. Let's let that expire. Now I'm going to shoot this one. Oh gosh, it lasts longer. <laughs> it lasted 15 seconds, man. That's five times as long. So uh, full spectrum is going to be space dust. Now last, not lats. We're not working out. Last 15 seconds instead of three seconds. So that is worthwhile. Why? Because it slows enemies down. Uh, so we chuck one up in the sky, shoot it. Uh, the enemies are slowed. We've got that going for us. You can charge this up. Potentially chuck more of them. <laughs> and yeah. So pretty cool stuff, I have to say. Um, not, again, like super dramatic with damage numbers, but yet very, very effective, I feel. Are you ready for Speaking of that, this is something very interesting. You see this stuff kind of first in Swap Force with like uh, Night Shift. Uh, Double Dare Trigger Happy has not now. A couple other characters have had similar things at this point, but check it out. 2400 is the prize. It will get a supernova once before you lose your last hit point. You will go supernova and gain half health. So basically, the way I take this, let's say that we are getting attacked by trolls that do 30 damage, and we're at 60, and they hit us, and we're down... Well, no, let's say that we are at uh, 49, right? And we get hit by a troll, we're down to 19. There's no food we can get to, no XP we can get to to level up. The next hit is going to kill us. Either right when we take that damage and we're going to die, or when we get hit next time and it would essentially kill us, we're going to come back in. So right now, and you can see it right there by his health meter, which is 598. Uh, you can see that sort of like, you know, supernova logo, I guess we'll just call it, above his name. So... 598, that's going to come in and it's going to give us 249 health. So if, case in point, like if he was at an even 600 and we just got killed, we're not going to be dead, we're going to come back and have 300 health. Pretty, pretty significant. If you're somebody that's struggling, uh, you know, you're having trouble dying a lot or losing your characters, maybe you don't have very many superchargers, uh, if you're in that type of a boat or something, this is a very good reason to take the Nova Hopper path. So let me go ahead and put that in the spreadsheets. So, uh... I'm just gonna say, if you are killed, return with one half health. So basically, say that you always die at like the 85% mark in a level. You just can't get past it. And you're like, man, I don't know what to do. I don't have double dare trigger happy or night shift or anything. Everybody gets wrecked that are level 20. I, I can't pull it off. Take Astro Blast, go through there. Instead of him dying at the 85 mark in the level, he's going to come back and have half health, which you can then probably build upon, get him maybe back up to full health, depending on the XP or the food situation, and possibly complete the level. So very, very beneficial right there. Uh, what I do wonder about it, and I can't showcase it here at the training grounds because we can't take damage, but when you do that, I'm wondering if you just return and have half health or if there's like some massive explosion that decimates everything on the screen, does 300 damage, 
uh, does five to eight 30 times or something or if it's just your back and I don't know we're gonna have to try to check that out but uh, what we want to do now we already have it so we don't have to buy it but we're gonna check out wool encounters this is very cool you hold Y to bring down a space rock which hey let's face it you're gonna be doing that anyway right on this path uh, but this time it is inhabited by a creature with its own laser gun set to blast so hard for me to do that I'm like choking and losing my voice at 2 in the morning but uh, let's check it out so uh, we're gonna come in here and we of course can you know down boom 5583 and then this guy appears he shoots 25 to 38 you know, standard damage just like we do but he hops around for what like roughly 12 to 15 seconds you know somewhere in that range so it's kind of funny it's kind of neat and uh, I like it uh, what I think I'm gonna do is cut here and I'll actually head into chapter one and let this guy just get wailed on and die this would be great to have like regular astro blast that we hadn't leveled up this far <laughs> but uh, we're gonna see again half of 598 would be oh no it wouldn't be 249 would it yeah 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 that's right no half of 600 would be 300 598 would be 400 okay yeah so that's where we'd be uh let's go ahead though i'll try to set that up and uh, we will see my main concern, I trust that we come back half health, but <laughs> I'm kind of, like I said, I'm wanting to know if there's damage that we deal when we quote-unquote supernova, so uh, we'll check that out. I guess we could showcase uh, before we do that, just up here with the Greebles real quick. Uh, so there's really not hey, soldier. You do super exciting today. stuff here, but uh, again, we'll just chuck that. Shoot it. And kind of see what I mean? He's slow in there. And so out here, if he would pursue me, pursue me. Okay, see? See how he's quick now? Do that, shoot it. He's slow. Come out here. Come out here. Come on, you idiot greeble. Well, you know what? You deserve it. <laughs> so there we go. Um, we'll do a soul gym kill for you. Let's just get three of these nut jobs out here. Three, I see. Three. All right. Here we go. You saw all oh, that kick I actually sent him out. <laughs> we'll just let the sheep run around. Uh, and then, of course, if we throw the space rocks up, we can slow them down and that'll sort of help the sheep out as well. He's running out. These guys are slow. Let's see if we can get the three space rocks here. For some reason, they don't really fan out all the time. But uh, personally, I kind of think I'm preferring cosmic technology. And it's in large part because of the surface of the sun, sort of like the insta damage from our little force field. Plus, it would heal anyone if I was ever playing with someone. Um, or if you're solo, this is something else you can do. Say that you've just got a set number of Skylanders, this is your first game, and you're like, oh no, Stealth Elf's gonna die, you know, I need her health healed back up. You can come in, you can take a second controller, <laughs> you know, uh, turn it on, you can put Astro Blast on the portal, and then you can just have Stealth Elf stand by him and regenerate her health, and then disconnect and move about your business with Stealth Elf. So, uh, that said, this kind of is all we can showcase here. I'll try to hop into Chapter 1. Um, if it's really cool, I'll showcase it. If it's not, I'll just leave it as is in the spreadsheet. So, uh, nonetheless, this is Skylanders Research. We checked out uh, Legendary Astro Blast down the Nova Hopper upgrade path here. Let me know which path do you prefer and why? Cosmic Technology or Nova Hopper? Uh, if you have Standard Astro Blast, do you prefer one path uh, for him and one for Legendary? How do you, you know? Uh, designate the path for the character in that regard. If I can score Astro Blast at a good price, um, I might. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I might give him Cosmic Technology just because I'll probably like his aesthetics better, 
and then Nova Hopper would go to Legendary, but uh, neither path really stands out above the other in huge fashion. Obviously, each one has advantages depending on your strengths and weaknesses as a player. I'm inclined to go Cosmic Technology, but that's just me. Uh, so again, let me know your thoughts. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Your support is appreciated. You can follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, whichever you prefer. For myself and Legendary Astro Blast, thanks so much for watching. We will catch you back here for the next installment of Skylanders Research.